Welcome back. Just got a package from Treatland and as you can see the exhaust, the stock exhaust has been taken off this townie because I bought a new exhaust now made for the QT50 but I thought it would go on to the townie. Unfortunately it is just off. I guess I should have suspected that, uh, I guess I kind of did suspect that I might have a problem. Yeah. Oh well. It'll have to go on a QT50. Or I'll try to make it fit on the tanny. I don't know. But hey, that is the lesson of mopeds. Expect failure. Don't expect immediate success. But from failure, we will better ourselves. But we got other things that we can look at. I can create a clean area in this mess. Where'd you go? I think it's right here. So, a viewer of my videos, otherwise known as the Bone Crusher, uh, wanted me to help him out with this Urban Express. Bear with me. So, he needed a new uh, cylinder, and I said, well, I don't have a new one, but I've got a used one. And I'll tell you what, let's, let's head on over here and see if we can take a look. That's pretty good. So you can see um, I've got a, a ring in there and you basically shove it down in there a little ways with the piston uh, make sure it's properly positioned and what we'll do real quick is just measure exactly try to find exactly how far I've got my uh, whatever these things are called I can never on camera I can never remember of what a lot of things are called off the top of my head. These are a feeler gauge. Yeah, I'll take feeler gauge for 500, Alex. So I've got, uh, these should be between .15 millimeters and .35 millimeters. And I've got the .35. Let's just see. So Let's see if I can All right. I'm going to say we can go bigger. Is there a .40 on this thing? Or can I make Sometimes you've got to add oh, Come on out of there. 0.40. Let's let's try the 0.40 real quick. I can go bigger than 0.40. Let's try 0.45 millimeters. Almost half a millimeter of ring gap. Are you kidding me? Let's try 0.50. That's basically it. So 0.50. Let's just try 0.55 just for kicks and giggles.
Uh, I'm going to say 0 0.50. So we are 0 0.15 millimeters beyond spec, which basically means that this uh, cylinder jug is, is worn out. And uh, I bought this from this guy on eBay. Oh, this is uh, this is my other one. I have two. This one's worn out, and so is the other one. Um, so that's 0 .50 over, and I'll I'll measure this other one too later. But here are some of the. Let's see if we can just stick that here. You can see it on camera. You can see uh, right there, and mainly right there. I think what had happened. I bought this cylinder jug used on eBay from this guy in Michigan, and I what I could tell, I've honed it out. Um, another issue. is uh, right right there, right inside. You can see that little divot that didn't hone out. But I think uh, the piston was frozen inside here, either rusted in, you know, probably some Urban Express sitting out in the elements and uh, for years and then somebody grabbed it and decided to part it out and the piston was frozen in. So I think they took a hammer and tried to beat the piston out and missed and hit the the cylinder and then that I didn't notice that till later the first thing I notice you can see right here right here here and here here and here and then there's a bunch of little dings in here. He had taken a screwdriver to remove the base gasket, which had fused on over the years. Now I sanded this down, and I think this would work if if the other issues, uh, <laughs> if the cylinder wasn't spec. And then uh, he had also banged up the threads on these exhaust studs but I was a, I took my um, tap and die set and I fixed that so uh, the other one was 0.5 we might as well see I know this one is is over too I just don't know exactly how much but I gotta know at least I'd like to know let me see if I can find uh, piston to push this out with. Well, I'll measure that later. Anyways, uh, so I spent all this time <laughs> trying to fix that cylinder and then the last thing I do is measure the ring gap and discover that it's you know pretty much beyond its limits now if I look hard enough I can probably find a 0.25 millimeter over piston and ring set uh, Right now, all I've been able to find is a piston that's 0.25 over for 50 bucks without the rings, and that's just way too expensive. But I'll keep looking. So I can find a slightly bigger piston. So if that's 0.5 um, over 0.25, it'll get me uh, better in the range. Won't be perfect, but if I wanted to use this, that was, that's what I could do. Um, so, 
And, you know, who knows, maybe it was bored out 0.25 millimeters at one time as well. Uh, that could explain it too. So, you know what? You're better off not buying used cylinders off eBay. As a matter of fact, this has happened to me like three times now. Uh, where either the, the cylinders were bored out bigger and either the seller didn't know that or it wasn't disclosed or they were just worn out from use so I, I don't know I don't think buying a used cylinder off eBay is really uh, that good an idea but uh, anyhow so quick little video you're better off just buying uh, a new top end kit because trying to find these odd sized pistons and rings it's just too expensive it's, it's cheaper to buy a new kit that includes a cylinder gaskets piston and rings <laughs> I like to call it a wrist pin but now I think I like the term gudgeon pin so much better and uh, sometimes they in the sur clips and sometimes they even include the needle bearing which also has some crazy uh, alternative names as well can't remember the really good one but uh, anyways so just a little video um, well hell we got it we got time right let's uh, let's look at something else I got for the QT 50 or this could work on the uh, the town as well. This thing is super lightweight. I guess it's just you know straight aluminum. Look at that. That's the Makuni TM twenty four TM twenty four flat side flat slide. That's what I want to say, right? Flat slide carburetor. It might be just too big for the Yamaha hopper but we'll see what the hell you know go big or go home right so and then got the uh, intake to make it work so the standard QT50 car carburetor is a VM12, so a 12 millimeter, and I'm going to attempt to double the size of the carburetor with a 24 millimeter carburetor. Um, is it too much carburetor? Of course, you know, got to tune the thing, and I just tuned in the VM18 on the Yamaha hopper. Um, could put it on a townie. This has got a 60cc kit, but the, the, the Melosi kit on the Yamaha Hopper 64cc, so that would be the better candidate. But, you know, we'll get to that later, I guess. So, hey, remember, ride safe, and thanks for watching.